Hello everyone, this is AV Creative. Greetings from very rainy London. Now today I'm going to take you on a little journey. I was asked by several of you to make a sister for my mermaid and my firewoman. So that's what I'm going to do today. Also, you are going to witness some of my failures, but I hope you're going to enjoy the video anyway. Hi everyone, this is AB Creative. How are you? Now, I'm pretty happy today because here in UK we've just started half term break. So now I have more time for creating. Now, I've received quite a lot of requests for another one of my women. You know, I've done the mermaid, then the firewoman, and I was asked to do one uh, sort of earth related and perhaps an air woman as well. So I thought I'm going to combine the earth woman with sort of tree woman and that's what I'm going to do today. Um, my earth woman will be however sort of season related is going to be sort of autumn woman as well. So I'm planning to do her face and incorporate a tree sort of. <laughs> we'll see. So the plan is as follows. So this is a 12 by 12 canvas by Tessa. Uh, my main mate had a blue background, the fire woman was red, orange and yellow. And this one, since it's going to be autumn -y, uh I'm actually going to paint the background with gold. This is my Arteza gold. Lovely paint. This is not the regular brush. This is my, uh, actually my blusher, but it's pretty soft. So doesn't actually leave any marks. I don't think I have to coat all the background just around the face. I'm just planning to make it like a really kind of a rich, rich colours. A bit of like Gustav Klimt's painting with the gold and shimmer. I could of course pour just gold on the background but I want it quicker. I want it to be dried faster. And also, when you just paint the background, you use less paint. Well, the background is completely dry now, so I'm going to look for the template that I used for my uh, Firewoman and for the Mermaid as well. And I'm just going to try her out here. After all, they are related, so they can have similar profiles, can't they? They are going to be the three sisters. So that was the face I drew. So if I imagine her somewhere here, a bit lower, because I want quite a lot of space for the the branches perhaps this position yeah i think that'll be fine and now i'm tracing her carefully because i want later on to paint the surge with black just with a pencil and this part here will be for the roots so just the chin and the whole section will be the branches here so i'm not worrying about the rest of the head done so i'm just going to use a small brush and go over the edges with black. Just my really small brush. I don't have to really worry how thin the line is going to be because I want it actually a bit thicker. I'm using Mars Black by Arteza. There will be a link to all my products in the description. It will be absolutely awesome if you could use my affiliate link because then I'll be getting a very small commission at no cost to you. And this way you can support my channel so that I can create more videos for you. Now I'm using a bigger brush, slightly bigger brush and my pouring black mix. I'll explain my color mixing later on once I get to the colors. I just want to do, uh, do just one or two roots here, just paint them quickly. I'm trying to seal off this area because I'm going to pour over the whole section here. Before I start pouring, I have to make sure that I'm going to protect certain area, which is the outside of her face and all the neck area. The rest doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do now, I am very quickly sketching uh, the outline, the transfer paper, and I'll cut it out. Forgive my fingers, when you work with black paint, you always get some paint under your nails. And that's the outside that I need. Here, the hardest part of painting will be the peeling off the tape. So I just stuck the tape a bit 
a bit closer to the inside. So I want one layer of gold by the black, if you know what I mean. So I have a black line, then a bit of gold, and the tape. Oh, sorry, in the pool. The second part I want to keep intact is this part. So again, very quick. This one is like really rough. I actually don't mind if the pour goes a bit lower. I think it's fine. Just here. Okay, so now I'm ready to mix the colors. And as I mentioned before, this earth tree woman is going to wear autumn colors we are going to use quite a few colors today so we've got lemon yellow we've got burnt amber all by Arteza, got crimson red uh, pale green and then some metallics uh, pale olive that i actually added to the pale green to create a different different shade I also have a very nice bronze that at the moment looks like cocoa, but it's going to change once it's dry. And then on top of that, Mars Black, and Mars Black will be used for swipe. I do mention in each episode how I mix my paint like pretty quickly. Uh, however, there's a link to a video over there where you can actually watch it in detail. So uh, I use my pouring medium, which is 50% of PVA glue, archival PVA glue, and 50% of water. Then I add my paint, I would say one third of paint to two thirds of my pouring medium. And later on, I just add a dash of flowchart, and that's it. And the consistency, you can hopefully see, really nice and smooth. There's a tiny build-up that disappears very quickly. I'm going to put my painting a bit higher because with a swipe technique I may have some drips. For most of my techniques I don't need to use much paint. Uh, I do understand that if you do a dirty pour or flip cup, um, yes you do need more paint. However, for most of my techniques you, you basically don't need too much paint so I very rarely put my painting higher. I am adding one drop of uh, coconut hair serum to my black. That should create some nice cells and condition her hair. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, time for the colors. What should we start with? Perhaps some orange. Because I am, I'm actually going to put quite a lot of paint. I didn't coat the background before. I don't think that was necessary. bit of the bronze. Once it's dry, the metallics should be really, really nice. A bit of red. This is the only cup that doesn't bend so well. Now I think time for the olive green. Just to imagine a few leftover green leaves. Okay. Well, okay, I think I'm going to just tilt it a bit so the colours move and mix. As usual, I don't wear my gloves. That's just fun touching the paint. I don't want to really mix all the colours because I'll end up having everything brown. I'm just very gently touching some areas. Because it's not very comfortable swiping in this direction, I'm going to move her towards myself and then I'm going to swipe this way. The more I'm thinking, um, I've kind of thought maybe if I swipe with black it will be too dark. So how about just a bit of black and a bit of brown instead? The edge. Okay, where's my swiping tool? Just a bit of a tish, uh, napkin. I'm going to spray it so that it's not completely dry and it adheres nicely. So this will be easier. Okay. 
Wow. Look at all that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I love it. Okay. Now. <laughs> Don't want to spoil it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Whoa. That's a lot of black here. But I still think it's pretty amazing. Hmm. Okay, that leaves me with this small section. Just here. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. I do know I have a bit of a gap here. I can fix it in a minute. Wow, I actually love this black and brown here. I think we missed some some parts here, which doesn't actually matter because I'm going to draw lots of branches. I could, I could just fix it really quickly. I wonder how much the tape... Go oh, okay, I still have some space. Just <laughs> absolutely love it. Okay, so now... A bit of black here, this will be a, a bit of a fiddly job. Maybe I should use my spatula now. And then drop here. Cool. Oh, I think that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Goodness me. Okay, so that will be the end of part one. We'll have to wait till she's dry. And then I'm going to add the branches. Oh, well, here she is, completely dry. I'll show you the metallics from close. This was the bronze. Still love the sails. However, if I'm going to be honest, I'll say this is one of those moments, and fortunately it doesn't happen too often, that I'm kind of not sure what, what this is leading. So I'm going to experiment. I'm going to add some branches as I want it. But if I'm not too happy with it, I might rethink the whole process. So, well, <laughs> we'll see. These are the Posca pens that I used on the uh, autumn leaf painting to draw some of the lines. And I think the first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to draw faint lines where I want the branches to go. And then if I'm happy with them, I'm going to go over with my black mix to make it a bit thicker. What I'll be doing now, I'm just looking for areas that I don't mind being covered by branches, the areas that are not my favorites. So, because there's some indication of the branch going here, I'm just going to go towards this direction. I'm not too careful, I'm just, just doing one line because I'm going to come back with the brush and do it properly. At the moment, I'm just sketching the branches. This is acrylic Posca pen, so it's kind of the same like acrylic paint, but in a, in a marker, which is wonderful. There will be a link to all my products in the description. Okay, so one branch will be here. Uh, I'm just indicating just the thick ones, and then I will add smaller ones. So this one will go probably somewhere up to here. Let's take a brush and see straight away what it will look like. Tiny bit of black paint here. The good news is hopefully I can wipe it off if it goes wrong. <laughs> okay, maybe we're better than I thought. Okay, so this, this tree, this kind of tree woman, obviously her branches are kind of like windswept or there's a storm perhaps it's all going in one direction because i did want to actually have the face kind of revealed so that's the problem if i put her in the middle then i would really struggle with the features now this is a really beautiful section and i want it to be seen but um, i do need some thick branches so how do i go about that maybe i'll start with this side first I definitely don't like that area. It's nice that the colors of the swipe are actually leading, they are leading me into that direction. So I'm just basically covering 
with kind of sections in between. I'm trying to preserve the lighter areas because it's not my thinnest brush so I'll come back later on with a really thin one just to do some small branches and much thinner ones. So one branch will be the chin oh, covering the lovely bronze but was inevitable. Well, I do have to lose some of the cells. Okay, so I think I'll be just playing with a smaller brush in a minute. Once I'm happy with these. Actually quite therapeutic. Just adding the branches. Oh, by the way, I don't think I've ever told you, but I absolutely love trees. I love the real trees. I love drawing them. I love painting them. So that's one of my favourite topics. But I've never done a tree woman before, so it's always the first time. Again, it was thanks to a couple of, a couple of you who suggested making another sister for my mermaid and for my firewoman. Oh, no, 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 I don't like that. Sorry, buddy. All the way. It's good to have a wet cloth or towel or some kind of a something to wipe it off if you're not happy. I'm just thinking, should I wait for the branches to be dry before I come back with a Posca pen? Because if I put my hand here, that will mess everything up, wouldn't it? So maybe, maybe just I'll, I'll wait half an hour, perhaps I should be dry. I've decided to make some of the edges to be sort of less even to show more like a kind of leaf growth. I know it's it's her hair. Well, she started as the earth woman, but now I'm thinking she's more like the autumn woman. And I could end up doing the spring woman, the winter woman, not the English winter woman and the spring because that will be the same and it wouldn't be too nice. The last of the sisters should be the air woman. However, I can't think of anything at the moment. So you can help me out if you have a good idea for the air woman. That would be absolutely awesome if you could share it with me. I am creating a few highlights on the thicker branches. I think the highlights will help uh, create some more interesting contrast. This bronze might be a nice, nice color to create some of the highlights as well. I'm just using a drop. I'm not going to do it on every single branch, just in some areas. I think it will make the branches more visible. As you can imagine, the source of light is on the left, coming from here. That's why I'm doing it only on one side. Do you often change your plan halfway through the project? Because I think this is just the moment for me. I've just got a parcel. I ordered something for the first time. This is spray paint. But it's different. This is water-based spray paint. And I think I'm going to do something to my autumn tree woman. Using the gold spray paint. Because I know I am going to risk now. I can completely destroy the image. And I... I'm quite fond of the face and the branches here, but I'm still, I'm curious. I want to improve it. So let's see. This is my plan. I, I thought I'm going to change the branches. I thought they were going too far to the corner and I very quickly sketched her just freehand uh, on contact paper and I'm going to cut her up now. Well, I chopped it into two sections to make it easier to stick on. So now I'm going to peel the face. Just a section at a time. Can't really see where the edges are. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, now for the, the tree trunk. It's an amazing spray paint. 
uh, very high pigmented um, it's a matte finish you can use it on objects inside or outside but you should not actually spray it inside so I'm going to go outside so you forgive me this is all covered I'm just going to spray delayedly with the can and then I'll come back to you uh, whenever I use it please read all the warnings it's highly flammable it's 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 actually dangerous so kids should not be near it I'm doing it in stages so this is coat one I definitely didn't want any puddles of spray so probably I didn't put enough but I would rather be cautious as I am waiting for it to dry I've decided to add a few tiny leaves as if sort of they were falling off the tree She's totally dry now and I think I put probably like five layers in the end. Well, this is going to be the most exciting bit now. So I am using a needle. And I'm just going to lift up the, the contact paper. Oh, let's just hope it's just looking good. Oh, it's so satisfying. Wow, look at this, oh this is so cool, um, I'm definitely going to use the spray paint some more, this is my first time spray painting on canvas, going slowly, I think this section was joined together Maybe I'll just cut it off to peel it easier. Yay! I'm really curious about the edges. Oh wow, look at that! This is so cool. This is so cool. I'm just putting it back to get rid of some of the sticky bits. I can clean it up later. Oh yes. Look at that. Yes. It was a labour of love, this piece. It took me quite some time and I did change my mind halfway through. Uh, obviously, if I was going to make the same design again, I would just cut out the, the outline and I'll just use the paint. I'll basically spread the paint and then peel off the negative space. That would be so much easier. But because I started differently, then I changed my mind. But in the end, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy. And you can also see my kind of thinking process and, you know, and very often artists do change, do change their mind halfway through, don't they? I'm not sure whether she would look better with varnish or coat of resin, but I think I'm going to leave this decision to, to the future owner. So if, if you would like her, just please uh, send me an email or message me on Instagram. There seems to be a reoccurring theme with my videos recently. So I managed to lose footage like twice or three times perhaps, but this time I did, I did something even worse. So I was going to very quickly add another coat of spray paint and I grabbed, I grabbed the can and I went outside and I quickly sprayed it, but I grabbed the wrong can. So instead of my layer of gold, I kind of got a layer of beige now. I, I, I honestly, I don't know whether to be laughing or crying. So it looks slightly different now. On a positive note, I've got some of the gold from the paint before peeping through and all about around the edges of her face, which actually looks pretty cool. So, well, yes.
it would be awesome if you could leave me a comment with an idea, for example, what I could do next time. Be awesome. And thank you so much for those people who already sent me some pretty, pretty cool ideas. So you, uh, you'll see them in future. So you can see all the cells from up close and the branches. I think they're pretty cool. And the tiny leaves. Actually, look at the edges. There's some gold edge to the face as well. Anyway, yeah, so I wonder what you think. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I wonder if you like her more or if you like the previous one, her sister. I'll just remind you, so that was her sister. The firewoman was actually pretty popular. I think they look pretty cool together, don't they? And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button so then you know when my next video is coming. Uh, also, you can join me on Saturday when the video premieres and that's the nice time when I can actually talk to my subscribers and you can ask me lots of questions. Thank you and see you soon!